<laughs> Welcome YouTube to another deck tech this time featuring modern 8 rack by Train Natili from Apex Gaming's 5k over the weekend when it topped 8 and went undefeated in the Swiss We are going to be playing a deck that's centered around the rack, which is a one mana artifact god uh, It's so good. It's like a lightning bullet your opponent's upkeep We have three thought seizes discard four Ravens crime is discard four inquisition of cause like his discard we have modal funeral charm is discard removal or swamp walk to get in even further we have uh smallpox is removal discard life loss and uh land destruction we have we have creature removal via sheldra's edict we have two wrench mines we have four orcish bow masters as uh, a card included that I did not see in the original list, so I'm gonna play it because Bowmaster's too good. We have three Liliana the Veil as as uh, removal, discard, plus uh, the ultimate, which is insane. We have one Dismember in the main deck as additional removal and an Ashiok main deck as well to hit on your opponent searching the libraries because there's a lot of library searching going on currently. We have Shadow Spear, Pithing Needle, Nihil Spellbomb, and the Rack as Urza Saga targets. Uh, we have Mistress Factories as Manland, Silent Clearing as Draw, and then Sideboard, we have Creature Removal, we have Graveyard Hate, we have Activated Ability Hate, we have a lot of things that this does. We have him to Turok on a creature, we have three Can't Search Your Library effects, we have a Sweeper, we have four Graveyard Hate cards in Leyline of the Void, and two Delirium Skies if we're playing against, like, Control. Anyway, if you like this video, uh, like, share, subscribe, etc, etc. I'll see you guys in match number one. Post post uh, match number one. Wow, two hands with zero lands. Let's go off to a strong start. Thankfully, our opponent's also mulliganing so that they're helping us out as we don't have to discard additional cards. Hoggers, yay. Okay, let's put back uh, Mistress Factory and Funeral Charm. We'll keep this hand. We'll oh my God, all my stops are off. Oh no. Yeah, nonelands.com, cringe. Okay, let's go Inquisition. Also, we're playing against a vampire right now. Their name is Nosferatu. Oh my gosh! Double Dothy Voidwalker. Okay, this is going to be very hard for us to win. Um, they are playing Scam, it looks like. They are Scamming Famine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, um... I don't think I really care about... Yeah, why is this not popping out? Okay, so they played Black Cleave. Wait, they did have a Grief in hand. I don't think I care though. So we'll just, we'll just, we'll just yield. And hope that we can draw a card? A land. Hopefully we can draw a land. Oh, wait, wait, hold up. No, four, four, four. Ragamuffin, perfect. We're gonna get him, y'all. Hopefully, as long as my game doesn't skip through attacks and whatnot, we're gonna, we're gonna get them. We're gonna get them. Bowmaster time. Shasha! We'll shoot the ragamuffin. Bada bing, bada boom. We're taking three, though, down to 17. Okay, land draw would be great. Then we can start pooping out tokens. Otherwise, we are going to simply play the Shadow Spear. And then thought sees them so that we can get rid of their last card. And then we'll punch four, one or two. We're going to punch four, two. And if they've talked at the Ragabon, they're skillful gamers, unlike us. Plays land. Uh, all my stops are goofy. I do not, do, do not Jador. All right, we have drawn a Pithing Needle, which is actually okay. So we're gonna float mana. We'll get, we'll get a rack here. We'll play out the, I only have two total. Um, maybe it's just like, play Bowmaster while I can. Bowmaster doesn't do anything in this matchup, actually. Maybe it's just, I'm, I'm just gonna equip the Shadow Spear, start getting some life gain onto the Bowmaster, and potentially, hopefully, we're not able to um, yeah, n now we won't be able to lose our Bowmaster to a Bowmaster. And we're pushing, we're pushing too. So it's not a lot of a spike yet, but it was a shock to their face. And we're, we're at the point in the game where, uh, we're kind of going deep. Oh baby, we drew a land. So we'll play the land. We're going to go to attacks. Shoot, uh, punch for three. Flash in Orcish Bowmasters. 
shoot him in the face for an additional point of damage, and then hopefully they don't play a Fury and blow us out. That'd be like the big punish, right? Fury. Thought sees, goes to three. Concedes, let's go. Game number one to the heroes. It's so small. That's what she said. Um, okay, well, let, let me make it bigger for you guys so you guys can see what's happening here. That's what he said. Um, okay, let's bring in four Leyline of Devoids. Let's bring in... Uh, what's good in this matchup? Pithy Needle is pretty bad because it only hits Dothy, so we're going to cut that. Uh, Funeral Charm is pretty bad as well. And then what else is bad? I like the Shadow Spear because you are probably going to be racing. I kind of want the Fatal Push because it hits everything essentially. Um, Wrench Mind seems pretty mid. Although they don't have artifacts really, so maybe it's fine. I don't know, hard to tell. Bowmasters is pretty good in this matchup because you do kill a lot of their creatures with it. And when I say a lot, I mean it's tokens or Ragavan and or a potential Bowmasters, which are great. Who doesn't like that? Um, maybe it's cut the Thought Seize. Like maybe cut one Thought Seize, one Wrench Mind, and then we'll try it like that. Is Inquisition mid? Uh, I actually think Inquisition hits enough relevant threats that I don't want to get rid of it. Like Thought Seize hits just Furies and uh, Grief. Uh, this hand's okay. We have the Urborg plus Saga. We have Raven's Crime Smallpox. But, you know, if we just get scammed... Actually, if we get scammed on one, they're gonna... I guess they take Bowmasters plus Smallpox. But then we can just, like, win with Sagas? And if they just play Ragavan, I'm hard got... Okay, now we'll mulligan for a ley line. Or, actually, no, this hand's great. I'm gonna keep this one. We'll put back a, uh... The Ashiok. This one's really strong. Greetings, good evening, Riza. If I get scammed, I get scammed. Whatever happens, happens. If they don't scam me, they don't scam me, and that's great too. But friend, I'm tired, but I'm here anyway. I'm with my homies, and I know my schedule is gonna be goofed for the rest of the week. So, I thought I would get in a small stream. Did I have a good weekend? Yeah, it was pretty okay, actually. Oh, okay, so they're just scamming Fury, which is pretty good. Had I kept the first hand, we would have the smallpox potentially for Fury. So this, this is fine, this is fine. We'll lead off with the Nilhel Spellbomb so we don't just get wrecked by another scam card. Um, and then we take eight, Obvi. But I think we'll be able to just play a blocker here. Yeah, this is fine, unless they grief us and then I'm really just dead. Uh, otherwise, we have, you know, Bowmaster here. We got a blocker. We're gonna start Saga-ing. And then we can win. Yeah, since they took the Bowmasters, we have significantly fewer resources in which to block. I, I'm, I gotta set some stops. Hold up, y'all. This is killing me. All right. Obviously, if they just have, like, infinite removal, then we lose. But otherwise, we're kind of okay. Like, they, they could just go Bowmasters to their own. And we're, we're like, in a little bit of... A tizzy, a fizzy, a blizzy, a glizzy. Uh, yeah, Bowmaster their own. But we still get a block here on the Fury. Unless they have a removal spells last card. If they have a removal spells last card, I guess it's GG. Pretty much. I, okay, well, I mean, they've just, they've had it all. So we're going to go to four life. Um, I guess I should have brought in Bantus. Or Mulligan to five. Okay. Um, God, this is just not doing it, is it? All right. Well, we're yielding. Yeah, I guess I should have mold for Leyline. That's fine. I mean, we have Dismember. We have we have a few we have a few cards, right? It's not like we're just dead, but we are gonna go to two life, and then we die to like that Shragavan. We die to Lightning Bolt. We die to you know every everything. So we chomp, take two, go to two, and then we have to draw inquisition all right we're, we're going next because we're just dead on board we didn't draw anything to get us out of that spot so uh yeah that was very bad i guess i'll bring in bantus 
And then maybe cut like Inquisition. I don't know. Collective Brutality is pretty bad. Turok doesn't really do anything. Yeah, uh, maybe I want another Spell Bomb just as additional hate. So we'll, we'll trim like this. Their draw was really good, right? They had they had the double thought seize plus the the fury scam on one plus removal spell plus orcish bow masters. Was bridge? No, we didn't discuss bridge. How is this deck winning without bridge? Was bridge discussed? Yeah, I mean, nope. But yes, here you go. Perfect. Let's get them. Get them. Seek them. Sounds great. We're not getting scammed. Not getting scammed, but we're doing the scam. They're mulligating to five. They're helping our racks. We're going to show our opponent our rack, and they're going to be like, dang, that's a nice rack. And then they're going to lose to it because it's so nice. Wait, what? Happens to me all the time? Nice. Shelly is smelly. We'll take their bow master, their bro masters, because Fain Death doesn't do anything. And then we'll 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 smell shell into hell by seizing some thoughties. Yep. Okay. Cool. Played that. So we know the three cards in hand. Shelly's edict. Wow. Shelly has nothing on her edict, right? It's funny that Shelly just loses to her own edict. I just played this because we knew that's what they drew. So we know we know two of their three and we'll just let them do a thing here. And I think if we get Ashiok down, we probably just win. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, swing with Bowmaster. I don't think I want to swing at this army token just yet because I can I can get a turn where I leave up um, Shelly's Edict and, and don't just lose to Dash Raghavan. They, they are just drawing lands. Which uh, very hard for us to interact with. I could go for the uh, the Inquisition here, but I, I think it's just Bowmasters hold back. Oh, Lightning Bolt. Sure, sure. So we know the last card in hand is a Feign Death. Uh, if we can draw a land, we're straight chilling. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult for us to come. Uh, we're already ahead, but... For, oh, well, they Feign Death my Orc Army token so that they don't take damage when they cast a Lockthwain. Sweet. Very cool. Very cool. It also helps our rack. Nice. Hecking, let's go. One, two, three, four. Castle, main phase, draw card. Takes two. Doesn't have land. All right, now I'm just going to go. I'm just going to. I'm going to just Ashiok here. And then I, I guess I'm swinging. I could mill. Yeah, whatever. YOLO. Hit a Dothy, hit some lands. Hitting the Dothy is like pretty good. Doing this just so they don't have the fifth mana naturally to fury us. If this is grief, that's whatever. If it's yeah, that's 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 fine. That's fine. We're just I guess we'll just suit up. We'll inquisition them. We'll inquisition suit up with the shadow spear and then just go face. Okay, so they play Malkyrie Rebirth. We got a fatal push, which actually is really strong. Okay, inquisition time. They have a pithing needle. No longer. Uh, they can't kill my Ashiok this turn, so I'm just going to go in. They could trade off here, which is pretty bad for them. They're trading? Nice. Got him. No, I, I don't know if that's a got him or not. We'll see. Because I don't have a threat right now, right? Oh, they just drew Fury. Uh, amazing. This is so good for us. Let's get a wrench mind. Let's get... Their draws have been fire. Oh, Bantu's? Hell yeah. Let's jam it. We're not on tapping next turn, but they don't have a Fury that's going to hit us for three. This is going to be a tight one, y'all. So they take two. Good at ten. Plays land. Passes. If we get land, then we can hold up... Uh, never mind. That was actually a really strong land. That was, that was a really, really good land. Because now we'll be able to start pooping out some Urza Sagas tokens. So we're not really too afraid of even like a Dash on here. Because our, our hand's kind of bad. Fury would be really good for them. They, have, of course, have it. But we're kind of chilling. We have a few outs to the Fury. Uh, drawing another ley line is pretty terrible, so we'll just pass. A Undying Mouse to get the cards out of their hand. Cool. Which, I, like, I guess that's good because then they're not taking damage from the castle, but at the same time, it just, it just allows us to uh, deal more damage with the rack that's coming out this next turn. And they don't even swing because they're afraid of our Urza Saga's tokens. Which are just so big and veiny. And we'll just, we'll poop out another token. 
and then we'll get a rack, and then we'll play the Mishras, and we'll actually equip here onto the construct, and then we'll swing with our 5-5 five, five Life Link Trample. Sure, it, it's a it's gonna trade off, but um you know we, we get it off the field, we do them too. Uh they're gonna take two at their upkeep, we don't have to worry about furry. Obviously, they could just jam Fury number three, which, yeah, if they have it, they have it. They're going to go to two life to get a third card in hand, and they concede. Let's go. Match number one goes to Dorak. Right, this hand is dog water. This is not a good hand. We have one spell and seven lands. Technically, Urza Saga is cool and all, but I can't be bothered to be like, I'm not going to draw another land. And then we get this glorious son of a bee kind of hand. I freaking like this a lot. Um, what are we putting back? Maybe second Bowmaster. Yeah, I think second Bowmaster going back is fine. Unless we get scammed, of course. Opponents going to five. Yeah, I saw they got fourth. I saw. Congrats on your, your Thickalons. Big ups. It's huge. Alright, what if Foothills? Fetch. Foregrown. Thought sees. Young Wolf. Okay, it's, it's the youngest of Wolves. Um, you know, since they're doing that, I'm just gonna Raven's Crime them and start getting cards out of their hand because they mold to five and uh, we got rid of another young wolf. And so let's say they just play land next turn, then they have two cards in hand and we can just wrench mine to them and they have zero cards in hand and we're like straight chilling if that's what happens. Oh baby, we're wrenching some mines. Let's do it. Bam. Take it. This card too. Got rid of Pete Land and Yawgmoth. Perfect. Love that. And then this next turn, what we can do is play the rack and uh, hold the Bowmasters and give ourselves a little bit of D. That sunny D. Defense. Which fence? Defense. Um, yeah, we'll just play the rack here. And then we can also threaten the hold up Mishra's factory as a blocker. So this, this should be fine. Should be okay. If they fetch like Dryad, you know, we just we killed the Dryad, but they didn't fetch Dryad, so. Three damage to the face. Lava Spike. You swing. All right, I'll, I'll animate Mistress Factory. I'll block your Young Wolf. I take zero points of life total damage. Okay, let's play... Let's play Land, Crime, C, and make them discard. It could be like a cord or something, which is fine, I guess. They can only get, what, a one drop? Okay, they get, they get Dryad. Still only a one drop that they can get. So it is cord, it's fine. Cord for one, that's fine. They get a Gilded Goose. The Goose is actually on the loose, y'all. All right, let's, let's, let's show them the bow, Masters, and we'll kill the Dryad. Boop, boop, bippity boppity. Now we've just successfully destroyed a land. We've discarded their last card. They do have a Gilded Goose, but they also only have three mana with it, and they're not doing anything with it, so. They could draw, of course, another Court of Calling, but that's not all that good. They took three damage, and then they concede. Rack too strong. All right, let's get Shadow of Doubt. Let's get Piving Needle. Let's get Bantus. Let's get Leyline of Du Bois. Um... Cut the Thought Seizes, Hut, a Funeral Charm, Ashok's pretty good here, Dismember is pretty good, Liliana's pretty good. Liliana actually might not be good. Liliana might be a little mid. I like Shadow of Doubt because they have Chords, they have a potential Eldritch Evolution, they have Fetch Lands. Uh, Ashok's good because it stops all those as well and gives a body onto the board that locks them down. Plus, we can mill and stuff and get rid of their graveyard in case they want to do endurance loops. Um, we got to think of a few more cards. Maybe cut, like, one Inquisition, two Inquisitions. We'll cut one Rack. Uh, we'll cut one, one Shadow. This should be okay. Collective Brutality is also a good card to consider because they do play all of the things that I mentioned. Plus, like, some X2s. So maybe we want Kobu over, like, an, a Crime. I'm going to keep the Bowmasters because it's very strong against a, b a big chunk of their combo. And uh, if they're playing the one ring, it's really good. 
which some of these are. Shieldress is kind of bad. No, it's it's actually really good because it's our only way to deal with the Grist. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it because Grist is like devastating for us. Um, yeah, no, Shieldress is is kind of okay. We'll keep this. We've only got a single land, but we got Leyline of Du Bois. We got three discard spells, and if we ever draw another land, we're straight chilling. Now here's where Funeral Charm would be gas, but we don't have it, so. We'll make him discard. Uh, see, there's the Grist. I'm gonna take that net. Well, actually, do I care about Grist with the Pithing Needle out? I care about Grist with Pithing Needle, because we can just Pithing Needle Grist. They also only have two lands, so they're a little off of it. Um, I think Strangle Root Geist is probably more of a threat to us than, than um, the other cards that they have. So we'll do that, hope to draw another land, and then we'll Pithing Needle Grist. I, I was like, this ra they ramped, but no, they didn't ramp, actually. Hopefully we draw land. Did not draw land, but we did get a dismember. So, wait, gosh dang it. There we go, let's kill, the, let's kill their Dryad Arbor, get it off the field. They'll only have one land, and then their, their hand is significantly less threatening because uh, we are aware of the contents and context of what they're doing. Okay, let's draw. If we can draw land, we can go Pithing Needle, eat Raven's Crime, and that'd be cool. Okay, they drew land like the, the bosses that they are. What, have they, what do they have currently? What do they got coming? Do they draw another boy boy? Boy boy? Okay. Youngest of wolves into a halfling. They're, yeah, they're getting there, boys. Land? Shit. I don't, I, uh, we'll just go, we'll go next. I, I'm not drawing land. I, I'm going to be very far behind with, uh, I, I forgot about Fatal Push. I'm going to be very far behind. I don't really like Raven's Crime in this matchup. Uh, maybe maybe Funeral Charms are just better because we can use those removal. And it's like, oh, I cut all my, my discard. How are we ever going to win? Uh, that's a good question. We'll see. We'll see. I, I drew very poorly that game. If I had drawn one land within the first three draw steps, we were in it. But we didn't draw a land. And because we didn't draw a land... We're, we're falling behind because I won't be able to discard both cards in hand. And then, so they just start discard the Grist. And they'll have enough mana to eventually just combo us with, with Yogg and, and start drawing cards. And yes, we have the Ley Line of Du Bois. But it's not going to be enough to stop their board. So, plus some of them have like crazy like one ofs like Sheldred and stuff. Alright, I'll, I'll keep... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep this one. I'll keep this one. Okay. And since we have another small box, it's really easy to just pop the small box. Another land, rather. Um, I'll take the Halfling here. And if they play the Dryad Arbor, we can just Uraborg small pox. Be pretty happy. They didn't play it, so they drew another one drop. A young wolf. That's like the biggest punish for us. Uh, I guess it's wrench mine time, huh? So they're going to have to discard two. Probably gonna be force plus maybe like Besaju or Hapatra or something. Yeah. Oh, it's actually force plus Dryad. This is fun. Hapatra, mm -hmm. scary. Bowmasters is actually like pretty clutch here though. All right, so we'll play the Mistress Factory, and then we'll just, uh, I think we just pass. We know their hand is, is um, Grist plus Blooming Marsh. Um, but with the Bowmasters, we'll be able to kill their Hapatra if they swing. And then that gives us a, 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 a turn to potentially stop their nonsense. If they don't swing, very scary as well. I guess, like, what does swinging do for them, right? Not much, right? No swings. Coward! All right, we'll, we'll just go Bowmaster here. We'll shoot their, uh... We'll shoot the insect, get rid of it. I need to draw, like, Ley Line of Du Bois here. Uh, is that any good? Minus two, minus one. Minus two, minus one. I kind of just want to go Smallpox here. And then... Smallpox, we discard. Mm. Discard Funeral Charm? 
a way to get empty handed. Maybe it's like Lily. Pl I think it actually. I think it's just Lily on a plus. What the dog doing? That's a good question, MP. What is the dog doing? Yeah, we'll, we'll just go Lily plus. Get rid of the last land. This card, the smallpox, and then next turn, what we can do is go funeral charm on their their um their uh their one one or whatever, and then um go from there. They also might just like minus gris. There's a lot of things. Swing both it. No, swing both the gris is not good right now. I I think um next turn, yeah yeah. Next turn we can do that. Yes. Um, if they don't just like minus kill Lily, which would be an okay play, right? But then we can potentially get a punish with the uh, the funeral charm smallpox. Wait, wait, whoa! Where did this yog moth come? They discarded it. Oh my gosh! So they're actually their last card is blooming marsh. Wait, no, they played that. Never mind. We don't know what's in their hand. I'm sorry. I'm 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 fucking gooping, y'all. Flipping gooping over here. Flipping gooping. They had me down to one, and they top decked. Uh, they uh, they had four. I top decked Boros Charm. Nice, hell yeah, that's sick. That's how it should be. Let's go. Um, swinging face, so they can put a minus one minus counter on my thing. So I guess I'll just block here, and then I'll, I'll minus, and then um, uh, smallpox hopefully does something. It's like oh, I can't kill the Grist. Well, actually, can I kill Grist? I might be able to kill Grist. So it's minus two plus plus or sorry plus one minus or sorry plus two minus one. Oh, they, wait, they have a swamp though. Oh, poggers! Wait, 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 wait. They get, we got we can we we can do hidden mode on funeral charm because they have swamps. Thanks to our Urborgs. Our creature gains swamp walk. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my lily, but we kill the grist. Go. Let's go modal cards. Let's go. Can we song request enormous peener? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. Let's go, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to lose Lily and it's going to be a dang shame, right? Lily's Lily's deadgies. And it's, we're sad, right? We're super sad. We're super Saiyan. Um, Bantu's doesn't really do anything here. So let's just let's just go. Let's just smallpox. What are we gonna throw away? Maybe just swamp? Oh, is this an endurance? Yeah, if it's swamp, we're just going to uh if it's endurance, we're just gonna get rid of our swamp. They got us good, y'all. They got us good with that one, y'all. And then next turn, hopefully we get land, and then we play the land and we just smallpox again. So. And hopefully hopefully they've drawn like Yogmoth, right? That'd be the ideal draw so that we we don't like just get yogged out of the game. All right, we got a rack, which I hate to freaking discard, but I, I think it's worth it. Smallpox time. I'm gonna get rid of the Mishras. No, I'm gonna get rid of the Urborg actually. They have another endurance? Dude, they're ripping! They're ripping! Oh, cord for zero so they get dryad. That they're ripping! They're ripping! Oh, they actually, yeah, we, they don't have Dryad. Hell yeah. They're not ripping! Um, Urborg or Mishra's Factory? If we get rid of the Urborg, they potentially, like, get rid of just, like, Forest, and they still have Blooming Marsh? Fuck it. I think, I think having the Man Land is a little bit more impactful for us. Nice, dude! Let's go. Let's go, baby. We have a few cards that are just straight dead, but that could change in a heartbeat, right? Saga, let's go! Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. We're ripping straight fuego. All right, let's go for three. I may have bought a couple gift bundles to get the one ring. Good call. I mean, why not one ring it up, you know? This is Grist that is okay. Yeah, it's a Grist, y'all. They Grist in. Which is fine. I think that's okay. I think Grist is fine. I think Grist is fine. Because we can just get a Pithy Needle, maybe. Kobu. What can I do with Kobu? I don't think I can do anything with Kobu this turn. Like, I guess I could use it as removal, but I think that's just not great. So we'll just pass. 
We're, we're probably like we're probably just gonna get a a, a pithy needle for the the grist, cause like how do I ever beat the grist? You know? Oh man, they played Besaju. Oh no, it's Yog time. They're yogging all over my chest. Jeez, their draws are really good. Their draws are insane. Okay, we're getting pithy needle. We're gonna get a pithy needle, and we're gonna say, what are we gonna say, y'all? What are we gonna say? We're gonna say Yog Moth. So that we don't just get wrecked. If they want to sacrifice, we can just target it with itself. Okay. It's a 1-1. One, one. Set the hands. And we can target it with itself and then also target Mishra's onto it with the second Mishra's. So we're kind of chilling. But also at the same time, I need a rip like runner runner. If they if they want to sack last token, they can sack last token. I'll just pump again. What's the draw? Leyline of the void. That's terrible. Whatever. We'll just do this. If they if they want to kill, they can kill. Okay. Uh it's just Yog Moth. Okay, we're in a lot of trouble, friends. They can just dome us for, for freaking... No, because, like, Yawgmoth means anything that I play just dies, right? Jeez, dude, their draws are so cracked. <laughs> their, their draws have been really good. And obviously, the, the play that I made put us in, like, a bad spot. Uh, because the smallpox destroys our lands and whatnot. Uh, if I don't block, I die. To just grist all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, if I don't block, I'm just dead, right? Because they just grist all and I die. Their draws have been really good. They, they, it was like endurance into cord into delighted halfling into um, yog moth. Or was it grist into yog moth? It was one of the two. Yeah, actually, I'm just dead on board. I can't beat this because I, I can like swing, they block, and then I just die anyway. That was close. I mean, I guess I should have. I guess I should have uh, mulligan to ley lines, but I don't know. The first hand felt kind of good. It, it felt kind of good. the pr The problem was they just they ripped runner like runner 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 runner. They ripped so many cards in a row that got them into that spot. And then once they have the you drawn them three cards, we can't win from that point. So this hand's great. I'm I'm gonna snap it. Snap it off. Modern feels bad. I would I would very much disagree with that statement. I think modern's pretty pretty good right now. Pretty healthy. Pretty healthy. Sure, it's like frustrating to play against Yogmoth and you you just lose to Yogmoth. But at the same time, like I think it's I think it's pretty good still. Oh man, I I guess we're just gonna play the silent clearing then. And smallpox, and then we'll just discard silent clearing, and we'll also discard Mishra's factory. No, we'll discard the yeah. We'll discard no. Yeah, we'll get we'll discard factory. Be fair, feels bad does not equal unhealthy. I mean, I don't I, I don't know if I agree with that statement. I think inherently, if it feels bad, it's not healthy, right? Because the format should feel good. It should feel good in punts, punts of pantsu. If we draw another black source, I'm gonna just smallpox again. And we'll discard uh Bowmasters. Modern, you can play a lot of different decks than you feel with ma uh, with a many. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can play a ton of different decks and you can win with a lot of different decks too. Like I I won, I won with Leyline and Combustion. I got a 5-0 with Leyline and Combustion. I got um I, I won like four matches in the modern challenge with Leyline and Combustion with a bad copy of the deck. Like I don't know. Also, opponent no longer has lands. That's great. I definitely, I think modern's relatively diverse. Sure, 20% of the meta is scam, but at the same time, at the same time, 20% of the meta being scam, it, it, how's that any different than it being Merc tied for 20%, right? Like, what's, what's, what is actually the difference there? Because I don't know. I don't think there is much. I don't think there actually is too much of a difference there. So we're going to get a Nil Hill Spell Bomb off of our Urza Saga here. And then we're going to um, Dismember maybe. 
Nah, we'll probably. Well, if, yeah, we'll probably dismember. Maybe, maybe Sheldra's Edict. It depends what our draws are for. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Smallpox is terrible. So, float mana. So I, I wanna, I, I wanna draw a card here. Uh. Opponent said something in the chat. Uh, they said in response to me just uh, dunking on them. Boop, boop, boop. Trigger on the stack. Sacrifice. Pay a black. Exile their graveyard. Get an Inquisition. Doesn't really do too much. Lutri got third. Mono red, Obosh second. Jun first. That seems pretty good. That seems healthy. Seems healthy enough, I think. If we draw a land, here, let, let's let's Inquisition them. Maybe it was better Raven's Crime. Uh, Strangle Roots, Strangle Roots. We'll take the Strangle Roots because it's a 2-1 and I can't really efficiently deal with that. They're not taking damage, but at the same time, we're not getting dunked on. So that's cool. Damn it. No, this is actually fine because we're going to draw a Black Source and then we'll just Smallpox again. Nice. All right, let's go, baby. Black source. Fuck you, deck. Fuck you. All right. Um, I guess just Raven's Crime. Scammed in top eight. That's crazy. That's, that's cool to hear, though. I do like that. Not hearing that scammed in top eight. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's super easy to beat if you're burn. Has a bad burn matchup. You know, it's like, uh, there's a lot of stuff that's just like not good. And like a lot of polarizing matchups. All right, land, baby, let's go. Okay, well, we're gonna thought season get rid of the Thran. Cause if if we don't, then we're like straight dead. Straight dead. Uh, if we could draw land, you know, we'll just smallpox. But at the same time, it's it's like not drawing it, it's gonna be a problem. Not drawing it's a huge problem. They can't cord. They don't have green. Also, they've drawn a lot of lands. Meanwhile. We haven't. Kind of sucks. Ow, dude. They're ripping! That's so freaking wild. Really? Come on, bro. Come on! How do they keep ripping? How do they keep ripping? Okay, we did get land, though. But at this point in the game... At this point in the game, I think I'm just going to jam the second rack. I think I just jam rack because they're going to get like Young Wolf or something. Oh, they, they don't want to? Okay. Interesting. My opponent is actually just much better at the game than I am. Feels good, man. Feels good, man. <laughs> opponent just straight better than I could ever be. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, like actual perfect draws, huh? Actual just perfects here. Shisa. I, I think I'm actually forced into smallpoxing here. I think I'm forced into it. I, I really do. I really do think I'm forced into smallpoxing. I need to get the quarter out of their hand or else they're just going to start going ham with it. And then I guess we sacrifice Urborg. No, we'll sacrifice the swamp. That turns our other lands into to, to live. They, it turns it live. If we get like Mishra's or whatever. And then I'm gonna get rid of the Sheldred's Edict. They're gonna go to seven. And then go down to one. And we're gonna go to five, down to three. Actually, we might we might still win this. They could kill us, I think, but at the same time, they have zero cards in hand. We have the rack. They're gonna take six down to one. And then they die upkeep again, because they won't be able to draw cards. Nice, we got there. This is how game one went, essentially, against them. All right, I'm, I'm not going to bring the Shadows of Doubts in this time. I'm just going to bring the Ley Lines and the Bantus and the Fatal Push and the Pithy Noodles. And the Spell Bomb. It's a lot of cards. All right, Funeral Charm was actually kind of clutch Zilla, so maybe want that. I don't know. Shadow Spear might not be... I, I think Shadow Spear to get rid of, to get through things is pretty good. I'm going to cut two Bowmasters. I'm gonna cut the Sheldra's Edicts. Yeah, okay, we can't deal with Gris. I know it's like, oh, that's a big deal for us, not being able to deal with Grist. But <laughs> Gris is like, maybe we can just discard it, right? Um, Dismember, I think, is pretty solid. Smallpox is still really good. Wrench Mines out. 
Uh, I like the Ash Yox. Maybe Lilies are less good. We'll try it like this. I'm going to wait for the ad to come out. Let's get a creature with the ability of Helm. Yeah, right? Magus of Obedience. Sign me up, fam. That's what I want. That is what I want every time. Oh, how did this? Why did this not play? All right, MP, your song's going to play next. I'm sorry. It got bumped to the back of the queue somehow. Which I, when I thought you, well, no, nah, I'm just a moron. Never mind. It was rough. Respect the rack, though. Yeah. Two black, black, one, three. I would like that. Magus of Obedience. That'd be cool. Then it has the effect. Yeah. All right. We're going to pop it. It adds done in seven. No ley lines. The hand's pretty solid, though. But I think without ley lines, I kind of want to get rid of it. We also don't have a removal spell. It's all mull. It got a little worse. We'll go to five. If this has removal. All right, whatever, dude. I, I think I have to keep this. It's a little sussy Baka to keep, like, Saga plus Urberg, but... Delighted Halfling. Mm, more like it was delighted to get pushed off the ledge because I'm about to break. This Strangle Root, we're in a little bit of a problem. It's, if it's two creatures, it's like not the worst for us. Another Urborg, so that's cool. That makes this sack like a lot easier. And I, I think it's worth it not to get creatures from this just to like start pumping into them. And then we'll discard the, uh, the Swamp. This Thought Dissector work. I don't know what that is. No, it does not. No, it does not. Please don't grist us. Bro. I'm getting gristed. Oh, uh, Scoos! Wow. I wasn't expecting the Scoos from them. Activate gain a life total point. Sure. Scoos is kind of scary, but we do have a few answers. Nice. Oh, no, I didn't tap it for mana. It doesn't matter. Oh, wait. No, it's... Uh, yeah, hold up. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, we're going to the final phase. Shit. <laughs> no, it's cool, it's cool. New Pokemon set that came out is crazy. We, we opened, like, five cases for singles. Run case 15? Is... I heard the Charizards in that set are kind of insane. That's, that's, that is what I've heard. Come on, don't, don't you dare... Dude, I mold the five and they have like this nut hand. Ah, uh, I deserve to lose. I deserve to lose. They don't even swing for some reason. Sure. They don't even swing for some reason. Okay, draw a card. What if they're gonna draw another card? Master Flex coming in. Hey man, how was your stream? Welcome, friend. Hope your stream went well. We're racking right now. We're showing our opponent our rack. All right, let's let's. I guess we'll get Pithy Needle and then Praise. Uh, I could also get another rack. Also get another rack. All right, so if we get another rack, they take six. They gain two. Nah, it's just Pithy Needle. Y'all must gonna get too crazy. And then we then we have to draw like runner runner removal. So. All right, well, they didn't, they didn't draw it, so. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Hope your stream was true. Yeah, I, I need to get, like, Fatal Push. Need to get, like... Whoa! Whoa. Wait. Whoa! Oh, my. Thank you for the tier three. 24 months. That's two years. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Tremendously. Very cool. Oh my gosh, I'm taking it. I'm taking a fat one right now. If you click your username in chat, you'll see how old your account is. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna die, y'all. I, I do have Fatal Push, I got a few things, but at the same time, I'm taking seven. I need to draw a Fatal Push, I need to draw a Dismember. I don't even know if Dismember gets me out for, I don't, I guess I get one more turn with Dismember. Yeah, they've added Fall Away just to the accounts now. No, I guess I die if it's dismember. It needs to be fatal pusher. I'm dead. That's a blocker. No, let's just go next. I I didn't draw anything. I didn't draw anything. So just bi big rip. Gosh, I, it's it's really hard to sideboard against them. Cause like we, they they can go wide and we we can't beat that. 
They can play like X twos and then Bowmasters are trash. Wah. Isn't wrench mine good? It's okay. It's okay. I think we're going to be mulliganing pretty aggressively for Leyline of the Void, though. And so I might not get a hand that has good mana. I don't know. Like, yeah, yeah, two for one's great. It is. Yeah, but that's, I, I don't think this matchup's about getting a two for one. Double Thought sees Bowmaster Saga. I mean, I, I think I have to keep this one. It sucks because I don't have like graveyard hate, but at the same time, Double Thought sees Bowmaster plus Saga and lands is like very much acceptable. They have their own Bowmasters and two Wall of Roots. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna just eat their their Bowmasters. I guess um I think I'm also gonna open myself up just to getting Saga to getting Force of Vigor from them. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna open it up. If they if they want to force, it's a two for one, and then we'll just be able to eat whatever card they don't pitch. Son of a bitch. All right, we're getting the two for one regardless because they're gonna just they're gonna do it now. They're gonna do it now. Yeah. All right, so got rid of Wall of Roots. We're gonna get rid of another Wall. Of oh, they got Grist. Come on. No, I I think we do have to just eat the Wall of Roots here over the over getting the Grist. I I, I think eating the Wall of Roots is very important so that they don't have an a, an O five that just straight keeps me out of this game. Found three promo path to exiles in my LGS. Let's go. Nice. Good get. Good get. Hell yeah, brother. All right. And then we'll just, we'll just kill their Zillaport, I think. Dismembers. Nice. A very, very nice. Yeah, we'll just pop this off, take a point, and then their hand's going to be Grist Unknown. And I think we might be able to kill their Grist next turn through a... Um, through them plussing on it. If they don't have a Grist uh, this turn, that's fine too. So we'll just save Dismember for Dat Yog Moth. Oh, they just drew Bowmaster. Nice, dude. Sick, sick. Very cool, huh? Saga, though. Hey, yo. S -s 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 Saga time. All right, we're jamming it. I'm, I'm going to swing here as well. If they want to, like, put two creatures in front, that's fine. Maybe I don't swing. I do swing Tarkin, tar tar though. Yeah, I, I love Rebecca Guay. It's great. Actually, the goat. Dismember, dat member. Okay. Their attacks are pretty poo poo stinky. Do I just kill Dryad? And they can't swing, right? That'd be funny if they did. Uh, yeah, we're just going to kill the Dryad. Keep their hand min. Ooh, baby. Now we don't give a shit about Gris, do we? We do not actually care about Grist. Gr Grist who? Grist what? Slim Shady. What? They're trading off here. Does that mean they have another? No? No Bowmaster Boy? Sure. Certainly, certainly. One. Green. Sure. Okay. I mean, they can't attack, can they? Oh, this is an artifact? It is. I mean, I guess. I th yeah, I think it's actually fine to uh, to just block pump, and then we can just like Sheldred Z to kill their ignoble. Three three. There's too much text on this card. They can't read that line. Yeah, I, th I think it's fine just to kill the ignoble here. They know it could target itself. Yep, reading is half the battle in Magic. Yeah, we'll just we'll just uh, sack a non-token. And then we'll make a uh, a token on our turn. And uh, do we just do we just name Grist here? I think actually naming Grist is like pretty easy to do with our Pithing Needle because they're closer to that than Yog Moth. And then we can play Land, play Shadow Spear, and the next turn we do a lot more. All right, your move. Block make token. No, I, I think I like having the Mishra's around more than just making the token that turn. Because M Mishra is an artifact itself. It has pumpies. It does a lot. I think I think it's like a super good card, especially in this like kind of matchup. So we'll buff. We'll swing. Go for seven. If they just go Yogg here, I'll bond through 100%. Maybe. Maybe I don't even need to. 
Maybe I don't need to. They're swinging? Dude, that's, they're gooping. Swing. Raven's Crime? Grist. I'm a little worried that their last card happens to be an Endurance. I think that's a pretty valid concern. I think that's a valid concern. I could have, I could have, like, you know, done an extra point here. I'm not sure it matters, though. I think it's a quite valid concern that they have a, an Endurance here. <laughs> Dude, read like a freaking novel, man. Read like a novel. Yeah, it's like a Harry Potter novel, and I'm, I'm in, I'm in sixth grade. Oh, baby. Um, yeah, I'm actually sniping them. I'm the sniper. What do you mean? Um, uh, yeah, I, I devoured Harry Potter novels in sixth. You know, when I was a child, because there were so there were such easy reads, right? Okay, so they have four, five, so, so three, four, five. Um, we can't take their entire board. Raytheon, Chuck E. Cheese, murder. Yeah, let's, let's see that. That'd be funny. Um, I mean, I can, I can just swing here and, like, it's pretty good. It's like, kill, kill. And then they have Endurance left if he can't swing with. I guess they could swing with it. No, yeah, we'd kill an Endurance. Yeah, we'd kill Endurance because they can't deal with the Mishras. If they only block with two things, then we get them with the Mishra's animate. If it's the triple block, yeah, we'll, we'll just kill the Endurance. And then we can't kill another thing, so we'll let this happen. Wait. Artif yeah, this is not an artifact we're hearing. Oh! Oh no! That's fine. Whatever, dude. I, I, I messed up. I was, I was too busy reading, uh... I was too busy reading this to readjust blockers. We should have... We should have not wasted the Bantus there, but uh, whatever. Trayvon, Trayvon. Authors are transformed now. I should know that in sixth grade. Easy canceled. Well, that's why I said sixth grade and not at, at 33, right? Because I, I know that they're a turf and a terrible person. But, you know, they didn't have these kind of viewpoints public in when I was a child, so. They're swinging? Dude, is that another endurance? No way. No way. We'll just cast the uh, ley line of the voids. The beats, they said. I post on Tumblr, I'm done for now. No! Not Tumblr. Tumblr would actually be very upset that I. I as a child, I didn't know. 30 years ago, I was unaware. It's not 30, it's like, what, 20? Come on, Jess. All right, now we're not just gonna get Wombo comboed by nonsense, so I'm kind of chilling. MP gifting a sub out to Cinder. That's Cinder. I see the Dark Tutor from Eldraine. Ah, uh, I looked at some of them. I did look at some of the spoilers. There were a lot of cards that got leaked. Um. Eldritch Evolution? They're giving us that Eldritch Day! Scooze! Shiza! Alright, well, if we top deck the rack, we kind of straight chillin'. I have 3-3, three, three. we make 3-3 three, three swing. I I'm gonna have to look at it again. Let me go to old.reddit.com slash our spikes. It happened again. Uh, let's see, spoiler. Oh, they had a land? Hmm. Oh, baby, a triple. Uh. Which one was the tutor? What was its name? Scooze, you lose. Beast, beast, beast siege. <coughs> Bless me. Um, thank you for the gifted sub uh, to, I don't know, to uh, Hanokari Koyo. Appreciate that. Mirror. I, I actually, I haven't seen this one. I have not- I have not seen this card. The newly m leaked mono black tutor. Alright, Beseech the Mirror. It's one black 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 sorcery bargain. Search the library for a card, exile face down, then shuffle. Dude, they're not- their draws are so good. I- I wish I had the same BDD- BDE that they do. Mmm, this is kind of sketchy. If it's bargained, you may cast it without paying its mana cost if it's four or less. That seems really good, actually. I do think that seems like a solid card. 
Do you think that seems okay? Uh, I guess I'll just pass. Like, swinging just gains three life. I could alternatively just nil hill spell bomb, exile their graveyard, draw a card, which seems pretty good. Yeah, I'll just do that actually. Because I, I could hit, like, I have cards I could hit that gets a kill here. Oh, fuck yeah. Dull rack. Let's go. And then we can still just straight block the Yoggers. Put the exile into your hand if it wasn't cast this way. Source. I think this card you see play in a bring to light or as a bring to light. Yeah, actually, that seems really good, right? The bargaining you're sacrificing an artifact or a creature or an enchantment, I think. Token. Sorry, not a creature. Artifact, enchantment, or token. Okay. Yeah, that card seems really good. That seems really good. All right, we'll take four. A wire, a that's not good. It's not dying though, so that's fine actually. Oh, another another one of these bad boys. Mmm, -hmm. tasty, yummy, yummy, saucy, wassy. Um, so what can we do then? I think we just pass. Yeah, yeah, I I would agree. Bargain is probably pretty good, huh? Deck is this? It's the rack. You've been out of the loop for a while. Well, this is a deck from like 2012, <laughs> so. Mayhap's still out of the, 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 the loop for a while, but it's quite ancient in its, uh, 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 in its creation. Concoction? Oh, their attacks are now bad, so that's cool news. Yeah, I, I think so. I think they probably should have held it as well, because they're not doing anything with it, right? I will just pass. Actually, yeah, passing's fine. Yeah, I mean, we did, we did just draw a We also have one in the graveyard, too. Kind of get got if they have, like, a Force of Vigor. We're still chilling, though. They can't really attack into us, because we just, like, Mishra's pump pump. Okay, so Mishra's. Emanate. Mishra's. Emanate. Little blocks. If, like, I don't know, if they, if they hit a cord, I guess this is not great. But alternatively, I just don't want to take the damage. So, and we'll just, uh, whichever one they put first, we'll just, um, buff it, I think. We'll warn buff it. Force them to crack the young wolf here. All right, goes to three. Greedy, greedy opponent. I'm feeling pretty comfy cozy. I, I guess they hit the cord? No way, man. There's no way! Ain't no way you just hit cord, bro. Ain't no way. Oh my god. What is this? Double black proliferate? Ain't no way. Two, four. This goes down to three. Then it's three. I guess this kills both. Wait. Oh, wait. They didn't proliferate. Nice. Wait, what the hell? Am I gooping? Or is it they who are gooping? I think it is they who are gooping. I'll say they put themselves dead if we draw a rack. Why didn't proliferate? I don't know. I'm not sure. I didn't proliferate work. How am I supposed to know? <laughs> How can I answer that? Yeah, they probably didn't close. <laughs> yeah, okay, dude. Nice. Sicko draw. What a rip. Yeah, the thing definitely should be a 5-5, five, five, but... Right, they have to block or they're dead. I don't know, same. I don't know, a, a lot of like the tactile stuff in this game is pretty bad, right? I think they prolift and resolve in response to the target. Oh, yeah, actually they did, right? Or what did they have another thing on it? I don't know. I'm actually a little unsure, but something, something was fooky wooky. All right, we went GG. Bippity boppity boo, time to smallpox you. I guess like they sort of had a five five though, so I don't know. I, I, I gotta run another. I'll see you guys in minute 30. I can't say no to this hand. Do I think this set will make me want to play standard? I, I mean, I haven't seen the rest of the cards, but there are a lot of very fun, fun 
includes. You know what else costs six but gets you mana back sometimes? Prime Evil Titan? Dog, you just put this on me. My opponent played Urza Saga on one. I'm finna get tightened. I can't believe you did this. Oh my god! It's actually not even. Uh, I'm not finna get it. Cool, Pog. We'll, we'll throw that hoe into the graveyard so they can't flux with it. If I could, if I could ramp an Ashiok out next turn, that'd be sick. That'd be so cool. Shuffles. Yup. Appling and Shaw. Certainly, certainly. I can't get it in response, so I don't. I won't get it at all. Um, I'm actually going to play the Swamp this turn and just hold up Bowmasters. One mana floating, of course. What do you think they're getting? Like Mox Amber or something? Hey, I'm so smart, y'all. I'm so smart. So, so heckin' intelligent. Yes, we intelligente. Uh, all right. They're iterating expressively right now, y'all. We still know their hand, actually. Yeah, it's in the Breach deck, Lo-Fi. It's been a staple for a hot second. What you got, friend? Crack that all on the floor. Crack that till you get sore. Crack that. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Crack that all on the floor. Crack that till you get sore. Crack that. Ooh, whoa, 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 crack that. Yeah, people that are fans of Cory Bowmeister, um, love, love, love Breach, because he stands the deck super hard. Shoot him. Now, is it Lily or is it Ashiok? I think it's Ashiok, truthfully. And then we'll just chunk their graveyards so we don't have to look at their graveyard's face. And we got 10 cards, a mountain, lightning bolt, grinding station. That's one of them. I think they only play two. All right, perfect. Sean. Let's jam for two. Yeah. It's a fun deck. You play it a lot. Nice. Maybe I should have played Mistress Factory first. I don't know. You don't know what I'm saying. Expressive iteration. You grab the Oracle and Exalt, they can't combo. I wasn't. I wasn't sure I was going to get a chance to do that when they had a turn two Emery coming out. So, I'm going to see Komasa, you know? I, I actually, I've seen Grape Shot loot, loot as, loop as well. Shoot my Ashiok? Don't do it, bro. Ashiok did nothing wrong. Ashiok is a saint. You're just a hater. Stop being a hater. Ashiok did nothing wrong. Don't be a hater, yo. Stop hating. Start appreciating. Ashiok is a saint. All right, I'm going to go Jiliana of Du Bois, of Du Bale. I'm a minus on the Ragabon, and then I'm going to play a Rack. I got to buy our Sacrifices in the creature. Oh, man, is this a... Oh, it's actually just an... Just an unholy heat. All right, um, am I just minusing again? Open it up to another Lightning Bizzolt? But then we, like, can eat more of their Graveyard? And they're almost a delirium? Yeah, fuck it. Maybe a triple. Um, I don't think I'm swinging here. Maybe next turn. It's on hammer in modern. I think it's pretty good. Dang it. Gosh darn it. Our opponent bounced our toy. I, I think it's pretty good. It's well positioned at the bare minimum. You can't search your library opponent, get Ashiok! Nice. Wait, what the hecky wecky? Aether, spell bizarre. Shisa. Rude, dude. Alright, so we can go. Do I care about playing a second Ashiok this turn? Or a second Lily this turn? No, I don't think so. We'll make a 1 1 here. Boop, boop. Make a 1 1. She got a basket. And then we'll get a. I mean, we could get Pithing Needle and just say, like, what? Teferi? Mining Station? Grinding Station is a pretty good choice for the Pithing Needle. And then we play land, we tap land, we emanate, we swing it to five re. Uh, they just scoop it up, sick. Off the dome piece, off the dome piece. The song hurts my brain. Yeah, it's a little sketchy witchy. It's also nine minutes long, so we'll just we'll just go next. Off the dome piece. That's funny. Kind of like that. Um, I I mean I mean hammer is pretty pretty good. Back to it. Okay, what's good, what's bad, moin friends? 
That's good. We could shadow them. They're an Urza Saga deck. Maybe that's okay. I don't know. I like, I really like Smallpox in this matchup. Wrench Mind, this is at its worst, I think, because they have like 15,000 different artifacts in their deck. Once again, hyperbole, but they do have quite a few. Uh, Fatal Pushy is good. Funeral Charm, actually quite relevant in this matchup. Thought Seize doesn't hit anything that the other cards don't. I like Orcish Bowmasters. I like Dismembers. Um, this is not a Bantus. Is it a Kobu matchup? Yeah, I think this is actually definitely a Kobu matchup. Torok is okay. Torok's okay. Torok's okay, but it also just dies to like Lightning Bolt and Unholy Heat. But sometimes we can just show them our feet and it's okay. But maybe not today. Delirium Skies is, Skines is pretty funny. But I think that's more for like the control matchup. I think that's more for control. I love me some some sassy ashy. I don't know. This is hard. I'm hard. Skines, maybe. I don't know, yo. I don't know, yo. Alright, let's ship this. One land, not oh. Okay, I think I gotta keep this. We have removal, we have pithing needle. Yeah, okay, turn one ragavon. Get ya. Like. If that happens, it happens, right? Whatever. Get me, bro. Get, come inside me, bro. Make him crack the flooded. Shisa. Um, grinding station. Yeah, name treasure. Fuck yeah. Very good. Dasi scoot ya. Yeah. Yeah. All right, three one. Let's get that. And let's go get match number five. All right, match number five. One land, no fam. Two land. Do I dare do the damn thing? Kind of want to. I kind of want to just do the damn thing. Warf Rage P -p -p Prime Gaming. Let's go. Thank you for using your Bezos box here, mate. J'adore. Rouge, thank you for the bucks. I think they are a living Eng and or Crash uh, Crash Kid. It's, I think what it used to be called. Prime is really hard to remember to use because then it changes. Oh my god, it's a fairy. What the hell? What the hell? Spread them. What you got, bud? What the hell? Ah! What the hell? What is this? <laughs> Orkish Bowmasters in the one ring. Nah, bro, get that out of here, man. What is this? Four color ring? I think it's probably Esper Ring. I think it's Esper Ring. They're playing Lord of the Rings? Yeah, probably. Imagine not playing Lord of the Rings. They also have infinite fucking mana. I don't like that. Forest Island, Mountain Swamp. <laughs> Let's draw a card here. I want. I want to see if I hit land. I didn't draw land. I fucking suck, y'all. I am like gargling over here. Call me Gargamel because I'm gargling because I suck so much. Yeah. Why is there no Lord in Lord of the Rings? Hold up. Wait a second, y'all. Hold up. Wait. Oh, actually, though, why is there actually no Lord in Lord of the Rings? What the hell, dude? Flavor fail. Tolkien would be rolling in his grave right now. His eyes on top of a giant tower. Yeah, he's getting top on a giant tower, same. Same TBH. Ooh, you're a tasty little snack, aren't you? <laughs> aren't you just a tasty little snack? I think I'm just gonna Shadow Spear up my boy, though. So that uh, he doesn't just die to a, a thingamajig. Hexproof and ninja. They don't have this is protection, so it's not the same thing. Was shrinking affliction not a good it this deck had one shrinking affliction, but I was like, nah, we ain't playing that. We're just gonna ring them out. Or uh, rack them out. We're just gonna play all four racks. It was they they had three uh three racks, one affliction. I was like, no. No. Let's just do four so I can get them all for my Urza sagas. Mm-hmm. 
this one. Is this a solidist of dudes coming at me? Dude, they everybody loves to come at me. It's crazy. Like, have you heard of not coming at somebody? Jeez. Try not coming at somebody sometime, huh? Bro. Why you gotta be like this? Got a lot of cards in hand, y'all. Thankfully, we have a paving needle located underneath this Urza Saga, so Mayhap's chillin'. We'll see. We did one of the Water Graves, both the Mystics. We know one of seven. Heck yeah. Homie definitely has another one, huh? Ooh, baby, a land. Oh! No! Stop it! This is illegal! This is a seagull! The Boatmaster's just better rack. It kind of, it kind of is. Yeah! Now we're talking. Mm -mm. The one ring. Okay. I don't want to get rid of this Bowmaster that I have in my hand. I'm going to swing here. We're going to go for three. Maybe not. Maybe just pass. I mean, they're kind of tapped out, right? What if I just did this now? Fuck it. Like, they play four counter spells, some other shit. We obviously, we get BTFO by Teferi, but no. What do we get? What you gonna? Hey, what are you gonna do about that? Hey, 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 hey. Come on. What are you gonna? What are you gonna do about that? Ah, shit! It's a bow masty. Shoots my bow masty into the fairy bounce. That'd be quite devastating. Yeah. Yo, what the hell? Odawara bounce, dude. Giga rude. All right, how do I beat? How do I beat this? How do I beat their cheeks, y'all? How do I beat said cheeks? My opponent has just put onto the board. Wrench mine. Discard two is pretty shit, huh? I don't think I'm winning here. They've drawn really well. Burn face. Yeah, I mean, you're saying that, but at the same time, it's at the same, at the same, at the, at the, at the, at the same time. That seems really hard, y'all. Same though, truthfully. They're drawing pretty hot. They're like perpetually at six life. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do to get through that either. Maybe I was just supposed to like Saga token a bunch. But we kind of fell behind. What the hell is this? Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're getting out of this. Maybe though. How much each Prime sub does uh, Twitch keep? Uh, I'm just going to go next. I, I literally cannot win through them just chaining that. Is it different? No, it's the same amount. I, I get the same. I get the same. I'm gonna do this is a Delirium Skines game, by the way. And a Turok game for sure. Maybe a Kobu game. Actually, Kobu seems pretty poggers. I kinda also want to play Shadow Doubt just so I can hashtag get them, but they played a lot of lands that it doesn't work with, so maybe not. No, it's 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 this it's the same price. Like, but it's technically free for Amazon to to do it, right? So it's like mmm. Is there actually a cost associated with it? A little bit, but really no, but yes. Yeah, it's 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 kind of ephemeral if you think about it. They have so many lands, man. Exactly, yes. I, it, 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 is, it is just semantics. That's all life is if you think about it deep enough. Life is just semantics. It's just words. Words and then you get a, a brain chemical response to said word. And you're like, okay, I'm hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Thank, thankfully, I'm streaming it at 1 in the in the morning. <laughs> uh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, so stupid, dude. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> ah, um, okay, let's dip the counter spell, I guess. But Masty's like giga annoying, but we can just sell Drizzy like that. I just want to be with you. Yeah. Like Carly Ray Jepsen does this to my brain. The chemicals that, that Carly J. Repson, Jepsen, Repson. Jar fuck! <laughs> Carly Ray Jepsen puts into my brain. Then the feel good chemicals, Ubu. <sighs> we have fun here. We have fun here. We gave them black by uh, playing Urborg, so we're just going to punish ourselves very heavily because I'm like that, right? I, I, love, I love punishing myself, especially by streaming on Twitch and saying really, really stupid things. I think that's the ultimate punishment. Fuck it. No more black mana, bro. I'm great at it too. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Stupid things are stupid. It's probably stupid. What's up, Jaffer? You missed some, you miss. I'm glad that you missed all that shit that I was saying. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm glad. Feels good, man. It was funny. Nice. Good. I'm glad, I'm glad I, I gave you guys happy chemicals in your brain. So that's nice. Through my semantics, you guys got the, the feel-good chemicals in your dome piece. Hell yeah. What, no head? Are you gonna play me like this, opponent? Uh, one of these days, I'm finna draw a land upon it, and then it's lights out. One of these days, opponent. One of these days to the moon. Scheisse. The second, I mean, second Misha's workshop would be so good. Ah! I know. Right, I'm. I'm. Done. I'm off it. I. I can't. I, smallpox is shit against their deck. <laughs> I'm off it. I'm off it. I'm off it. We'll just take the 3-2 and, and be happy with it because I'm tired as hell. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching that league. If you enjoyed the content, guess what? You can find all my decks on my stream decker, which you can find probably the link to by looking in the stuff below. But I liked the changes that we made to the deck. The rack seemed like a pretty medium choice against a lot of the meta. But uh, we also got some weird matchups, and we drew exceptionally poorly against... Um, the first Yogg Moth player that we played against, but we all fought the second time, so that was really cool. Um, I liked the changes that we made. Bowmasters was pretty good. Very hard to cast, though, due to the uh, destruction of our own mana base. But, yeah, I mean, like, it was fine. I can see how it did well, because if you draw like a goat, you become the goat. So, uh, as always, like, subscribe, share with your pet goldfish. I'll see you in the next one. Cool. Thank you so much, Sister Magic, for the raid. Uh, unfortunate timing, though. But if you're not following uh, Sister Magic, you can do. I'm <laughs> sorry.